Korea, a special journey searching for the taste of Korea. Today, we are visiting Jamsil and Pangidong, areas always frequented by foreign tourists. Jeju Tukbegi, introducing you the original taste of Jeju Island, cooked with a mother's hand and a sincere heart. It is a place boasting of delicious taste, created with the freshest seafood ingredients. World Food, introducing you the taste of the world. Today, we are visiting magical Thailand, the land harmonizing with the sun. We invite you to the world of special taste. The Songpa region, one of the focal points of traffic. This area is already well known among foreigners for its theme tours. High class hotel and recreation facility are located in this region, a place where you can really enjoy yourself. In the nearby park, you can also enjoy a light picnic. Together with artistic sculptures and a beautiful lake, this is a place where you can enjoy a restful day. Journey of the Senses, where delicious food and sophisticated style of the city awaits you. Let's start off right now. Hello, are you looking for a restaurant? I'm Jamie Yi of Cuisine Korea, your problem solver. Today I have something very special lined up for you. A place where you can go on an exciting date or where you can go and taste delicious food. Tamshid is famous for its theme park, attracting many visitors and couples. And never fear, no pun intended, there are many great restaurants out here that are sure to win his or her heart. The huge Jamshil theme park located right in the middle of the city. Wow, there are so many rides here and they make my blood tinkle just looking at them. Theme park are one of the places that both young and old like to visit for a day of fun. You know what they say, time flies when you're having fun. And I have lost a track of time. I like to stick around just a little bit longer, but my tummy is saying otherwise. Off to the restaurant. First, we start off from Pangi Station of Subway Line Number 5. Come out through exit number 4, and go straight up for about 100 meters. Can you see the tall building by the main road? Go into the street right next to it. Go down the street and when you meet the three-way road, turn right. You can easily find the small two-floor building. Shall we take a look at the map? Pangi Station is on subway line number 5. You must remember exit number 4. The signboard is not big, so you must be careful not to pass by the restaurant. The place where a small spring and flowers of the season first welcomes you. This is Jeju Tupegi boasting a comfortable atmosphere and delicious taste of the home. In the living room filled with warm sunlight, you can taste the fresh seafood of Jeju Island. The second floor of the restaurant is suitable for holding all sorts of gatherings. It is a Korean restaurant where you can enjoy a meal prepared with sincerity in a quiet atmosphere. I think we can expect something very special today. Wow, I just arrived at Jeju Tukbegi and it's really busy. Let's see what's going on over here. 어, 안녕하세요. 어, 예, 안녕하세요. 어, 왜 이렇게 바쁘세요? 예, 지금 제주도에서 택배로 붙인 해산물들 지금 확인하고 있어요. The representative seafood of Jeju Island, located at the southernmost part of Korea, are all found here. 이거는 칼치. 예, 예. 이거 칼치인데. 와, 왜 이렇게 커요? 예. <웃음> 우리나라 제주도에서 나는 은갈치거든요. 예. 그래서 비늘도 보면은 굉장히 반짝반짝하고 아주 맛도 좋아요. 그래서 지금 바다에서 줄 낚시로 잡은 거기 때문에 예. 이렇게 낚시 바늘이 그대로 꽂혀져 있어요. 와. 굉장히 싱싱하죠? 예. 예. 그리고 이거는 네, 옥돔이에요. 그래서 옥돔. 옥돔은 제주도에서 나는 옥돔을 알아주잖아요. 네. 굉장히 맛있고요. 그래서 세계 어디를 가도 우리나라 돔 같이 이렇게 맛있는 옥돔은 보기 힘들 거예요. 아주 고소한 맛이 납니다. 
all these items flew straight from Jeju-do this morning. They were caught this morning and they're fresh. And she told me some of the dishes that you can make with these and I'm looking very, very forward to them. Just seeing it boil makes my mouth water. The dishes of Jeju Tukbegi that preserves the freshness of the ingredients. It is always bustling with customers who can't seem to forget its taste. Busy hands, busy mouths, expression of satisfaction never leave the faces of the customers. Being an island, Jeju-do prides itself in having diverse cooking methods, making the best use of seafood. Their taste must be quite special. Here, <laughs> 전혀 뭐 조미료를 뭐 넣어가지고 어떤 임시로 음식을 어떤 맛을 간파하지 않아도 그게 없고 딱 그대로 천연 음식 그대로 공 무공해. 맛있어요. The dishes that preserve the taste of Jeju Sea, they are all so savory that even a young child can enjoy them. On the menu there are grills. Fish boiled in soy sauce and sashimi, which is making it very hard for me to choose what I'm going to have. But there's something here with an unusual name that caught my eye. It's called obunja tukbegi. Obunja tukbegi? One way to find out. 여기 obunja tukbegi가 뭐예요? 예, obunja기요. 전복과 해산물로요. 음, 전복하고 이제 같은 건데 직접 성, 이렇게 자연산이기 때문에 해녀들이 이제 바다에 들어가서 캐 갖고 나오는 거예요. 예, 네, 그리고 굉장히 쫄깃쫄깃하고 아주 맛이 좋아요. 서울에선 보기 힘든 맛이죠. 아, 그래요? 네. Okay, uh, I think I've decided on what I'm going to have. It's this. Today's menu is obunjak tukbegi and kalchi jorim. The hands that faithfully serve customers for many, many years. She is the one in charge of the dishes found here. Obunjak tukbegi, like its name, abalone is the basic ingredient, but seafood such as shrimps and clams are used together with seasoning sauce that bring out the pleasant taste. 네, 저희 집 제주 뚝배기는요, 어, 청청 해역에서 나는 바지락을 사와가지고, 한 단계, 두 단계, 사흘 동안 이걸 해금을 시킨 다음에 뚝배기를 끓이는데, 여기 모든 재료가 다 들어가고 있어요. Thoroughly clean clams are added first. Then shrimps are added to create that special taste. Now it's time for seasoning. 이 양념에는 일곱 가지 이상의 재료가 들어가고 있습니다. 일곱 가지 이상이요? 네. 뭐뭐가 들어갔는데요? 양파, 네. 대파, 또 마늘, 생강, 또 후추, 후추. 고추장, 또 고춧가루. 고춧가루. 된장, 된장 이 이상에 들어가고 있어요. 아 이걸 넣으면서 네. 그래 된장 저 뚝배기를 끓이고 있거든요. 네. After adding in bean paste, hot peppers are added. Here, you just have to pour in pre-boiled stock. 아 뚝배기가 끓고 있죠. 이렇게 바글바글 맛있게 끓고 있죠. 네. 여기다가 또 파를 좀 넣어요. 이렇게 네. 파를 먼저 넣은 다음에 또 그렇죠. 네. 여기다가 오븐자기 이렇게 아. 두 손을 이렇게 넣고 네. 이게 이제 끓이면 해서 여기서 국물이 우러나거든요. 네. 오븐자를 왜 끝에다가 넣어요? 맨 마지막으로 넣어요? 처음부터 너무 많이 익으면 네. 이게 너무 질겨요. 아. 그러니까 이렇게 우러날 정도로 네. 넣으면 아주 맛있게 쫄깃쫄깃하거든요. 네. 쌉쌀하면서 네. 더 성게알 들어감으로써 더 구수하고 음. 그래서 더 어, 맛있는 뚝배기가 되는 거죠, 이게. 
The dish preserving the taste of the sea is now complete. Next, for the spicy kalchi chorim, you have to prepare plenty of radish kimchi and potatoes. Kalchi chorim will be made for you. This is the first time I put the meat in the pan. Placing well-pickled radish and potatoes in the pan prevents the fish from burning. 제주도 칼치만이 이렇게 은갈치거든요. 네. 딴 지방에서 나오는 칼치는 묵갈치예요. 네. 그렇죠. 이 제주도에서 올라오는 이 칼치는 아주 이렇게 토톰하고 살도 아주 어, 쫄깃쫄깃하고 맛있어요. 저희 집에는요. 내장이 하나도 없습니다. 네. 이렇게 다 손질했거든요. 아. 이러니까 는 어, 내장에서 나오는 씁쓸한 맛도 없고 어, 아주 칼칼하고 담백해요. Finally, bring in the hair tail fish. 그 다음에 양념장을 이렇게 부어요. 아, 그거는 어떤 양념장이요? 네. 여기는 마늘 생강, 간장, 또 저기 고춧가루 음. 이렇게 넣어가지고 이렇게 양념을 한 거예요. 아, 네. 네. Plenty of spicy seasoning is added to bring out the right taste. Peppers and green onions are also added. Finally, pour in the water and boil everything together. 제주도 요리 특징은 뭐예요? 아마네도 섬 지방이기 때문에 네. 그 신선한 맛이 아주 맛을 좌우하는 것 같아요. 신선한 어, 생선을 갖다가 빨리 조리하며 네. 그 들어가는 모든 재료도 아주 섬 지방이기 때문에 네. 신선한 도를 유지해야만이 그 맛이 있는 것 같습니다. 아, 이젠 다 끝났나요? 네, 이제 완성이 되었습니다. Well, there you have it. The dish is complete. The Korean stew boiling inside the dukbaegi. And the deeply seasoned hair tail fish. Aren't they wonderful? Mmm, I'm starving. So without a long intro, I'm going to go and try the dishes. First, let me try. Um, this is the oven jok tukbegi. Let me try the soup. Ah, mmm. It has a little salty and spicy taste. So I think it would go perfectly with a bowl of rice. And just dip it in there like that. Mm. And of course, <clears throat> since the name of the dish is obunjak, I guess I have to try. Okay, here I go. Mm. You could probably tell it's very chewy. And without any additional artificial additives, it has a very clean taste and fun to eat. Mm. Let me go on to the second dish. Mmm. This is fish. By the looks of it, it looks really spicy, but... Let me try this. Mmm. It melts in your mouth. It just goes down your throat. Mmm. It's not spicy at all. Spicy, sharp, and refreshing dishes of Jejudo Island. You can also taste fresh sashimi here as well. Grilled fish, treated so that anyone can easily eat it. It is also waiting for you. Hair tail fish grilled in this way will certainly taste different. Grilled mac and roll cooked just right is also popular. Crabs preserved in soy sauce, you will not be able to put it down. How about giving in to the temptations of dishes from Jejudo Island? We cannot stop time from passing, nor can we retrieve a meal that has been lost. A hearty meal is very important. So how about trying out new menus that are just right for you? Jennifer will provide you with new information with unique dishes from around the world. Next stop, World Food. There is 
a place where you'll find a cool breeze, joyful laughter, and restful time, and that is Jamshi. If there is one thing you cannot leave out about Jamshi, it is the food and the excitement of experiencing new and delicious dishes. Today we're going to swing into Southeast Asia and taste the delicious dishes of Thailand. If you're ready, let's hit the road. Shall we start off from exit number four of Shenzhen Station? I am going into the street of fast food stores. At the crossroads that appear right in front, turn right. Can you see the street line with all kinds of restaurants? This is the so-called food street surrounding Shinchan Station. Now, don't get startled and go straight following the road. When you enter the street between the takeout coffee shop and the chicken restaurant, you will be able to find Road Thai very quickly. Shall we take a look at the map? Take a good look at exit number four of Shinchan Station. It's easy to get lost at the food street, so you have to be very careful. The Thai restaurant Roy Thai, whose black and white interior looks really special. It is a restaurant I would recommend to those who want to enjoy a date in an exotic atmosphere. Its decorations are as brilliant as the cuisines of Thailand. It looks as if it will jump out and dance any moment, doesn't it? Rio Thai. It is a restaurant that allows us to feel little Thailand in the middle of the city. The atmosphere is really neat, and if you take a look at the drawings on the walls, they're actually puzzle pieces. Isn't it interesting? 자, 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. 여기 쭉 둘러보니까 소품들이 예. 굉장히 인상적이에요. 혹시 태국에 가서 직접 구해 오신 건가요? 예, 태국에 가서 구경 것도 있고요. 주방장이 현지인이다 보니까 태국에 휴가 때마다 한번 갔다 올 때마다 이제 소품을 조금씩 갖고 오시고요. 음. 그리고 저런 꽃 모양 같은 경우 주방장들이 직접 칼로 조각해 갖고 비는데 이렇게 모양 낸 것도 있고요. 저 액자 보시면 액자가 저게 모자이크입니다. 이게 붙이는 거 퍼즐 예. 그런 식으로. 그래 갖고 이런 걸로 얘네들이 현지인들이 주방인 휴가 때마다 갔다 왔고 사온 때도 있고. 아, 그리고요. 이곳의 이름이 참 독특한데요. 루테가 네. 무슨 뜻인가요? 아, 루테가요. 말 그대로 요리할 때 요이고요. 음. 그다음에 탈랜드 할 때, 타일랜드 할때 타이 해 갖고 같이 합성합니다. 그래서 루테가 되는 겁니다. 아, now you see what real time means. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Everything is so interesting here. However, there's one thing we cannot leave out. That is, we have to find out what the customers think about Thai dishes. The hot and spicy food that makes you feel the passion of people of Thailand. People coming in search for its stimulating taste is increasing every day. They say once you try Thai food, you'll always come back for more. It is especially popular among young people. The secret to its popularity lies in its unique fragrance and taste that cannot be felt in Chinese food. The menu there are a lot of different kinds of menu. There, there are rice and noodles, and there are, it's ver various and a lot of diversity. So I think a lot of people really enjoy coming here because the food is really good. If you eat it, you can feel it. That's why we are very excited. The sauces and the things that are the Chinese food, I know the Chinese food is a lot of sauce. I feel a lot of sauce. I don't 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 feel a lot of sauce. Well, can you imagine what the dishes taste like? Well, we've just listened to what the customers had to say about the dishes, and since I haven't really tried them, I'm very, very curious to taste. Well, let's find out later, okay? 자, 음식 맛에 대해서 들으면 들을수록 점점 더그 맛이 궁금해지는데요. 예, 태국 음식은 어떻게 한 가지 우리가 말로 표현하기가 참 모하거든요. 시고 달고 맵고 짠 맛을 다 느낄 수 있으니까요. 이따가 요리를 맛보시기 전에요. 지금은 그냥 태국 전통 차라든지 전통 음료수를 한번 드셔보시겠습니까? First, the Thai style iced tea. Plenty of milk is added to the strong tea, and the taste is smooth. In Thailand, people drink tea as we would water. Hmm, 앞에 세 가지 음료가 있는데요. 이 하나 하나 설명 좀 해주시겠어요? 이름. 이게 태국 전통 차 차이라는 차고요. 차이. 예, 이거는 이제 코코넛 밀크라고 그래갖고 안에 보시면요, 남부탄이한 열대가 있거든요. 그게 이제 들어가 있는 상태입니다. 그리고 이거는 태국 전통 
태국 아이스트라고 길거리나 이제 태국 현지인들이 많이 즐겨 먹는 차입니다. 이게 무척 달거든요. 아. 이게 한번더 치식해 보시겠습니까? 네. Oh wow, it looks like carrot juice. <웃음> We taste it. 음, it's very sweet, and somehow it has that ricey taste to it. And um, anyway, it also tastes like yogurt. A bit of that. Mm, you could smell it coming through your nose. Mm, very yogurty also. Anyway, very good and sweet. Okay, then this time let me try this a taste. Uh, it's the tea called chai. It's Thai, traditional Thai tea. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm. It doesn't taste too strong. However, it has that aroma, really smooth aroma, soft. And the color is really nice too. It's rosy with a bit of touch of uh, orange. Well, you know what? Now that we have found out what the tea tastes like, these drinks taste like, and also we have heard what the customers had to say about the dishes, let's fly over to Thailand and find out more about the country. Thailand, the beautiful land of leisure and recreation. Situated in the middle of Southeast Asia, it boasts of wonderful natural conditions. They also boast of outstanding artistic qualities. Using diverse seasonings freely, the country introduces tastes that are as intense as its sizzling sun. The main chef who will introduce the gist of Thai cuisine. I think we can expect the original taste of Thailand. What are you making today? Tom Yam Pung, Khao of Sabalot. We have chosen world famous dishes for you today. Tom Yam Kung and Khao Ap Saparot. There are plenty of ingredients. To bring out the taste, mid sized prawns are chosen. Plenty of vegetables and traditional spices are needed. First, traditional spices are dissolved in boiling water. Here, Peppers, pickled, and vinegar are added. It's boiling beautifully. Now it's time for the cherry tomatoes to be added. Different, isn't it? Plenty of mushrooms are added also. It is seasoned with sugar and pickled seafood sauce. The main ingredient, prawns, are added and boiled out. A little bit of lemon juice is added to prevent any fishy smell. And ta-da! Decorate with herb leaves and the dish is complete! Thai-style fried rice. From cashew nuts to eggs and curry powder, its ingredients are really different to start with. First, lightly whip the eggs and fry them over a pan laced with oil. Add rice and mix well together. Cut and add in the sweet canned pineapples together with carrots and potatoes and fry everything together carefully. Prawns and squids are also a must. Lastly, add curry powder and it literally becomes a very special fried rice. Sweet and sour Thai fried rice. You can't use any old dish now, can you? Place the rice in a pineapple cup whose insides have been scooped out and the dish is complete. Over here, if you take a look, these are colander leaves. I'm sure that many of you who like these leaves would love to just put it in here. But then, um, since I'm afraid that it may be too strong for me, I'll just put in a little bit. Maybe just uh, two. <laughs> All right. Here, I'll give it a try. Mmm. Wow. The soup, it sticks to your tongue. Mmm. It is spicy. It's uh, a bit salty. And uh, it's a bit sour also. 
I can't find the sugary, very sweet taste, but it's very sour and a bit spicy. Here. I think it goes really well with the soup because this one on the hand is very strong, but this one is very smooth and it has that um, light curry taste from the curry powder added to the fried rice. And actually, because of the pineapple, it's even a bit sweet. Compared to other types of fried rices that you have tried, I'm sure that this, if you try this, you taste many different kind of taste in this dish. There are many other Thai dishes for you to taste at Ro Thai. Pure Wan Seafood Cook by frying all kinds of seafood. The sauce gives a memorable taste. Spring rolls with two kinds of special sauces. Fried noodle dish cooked with plenty of seafood and vegetables. And finally, the crab dish seasoned with curry and peppers. The taste of Thailand waits for you. There is a Korean saying that when you gather with other people to eat, don't get too busy filling your own stomachs. I guess it is stressing the importance of sharing delicious food with others. Well, this has been Cuisine Korea, and we'll see you next time with even more cuisine information that can be very, very tasty. Well, until then, goodbye, everyone.